dealing with disrespect can be one of the most challenging experiences we face in life. It can cause us to feel angry, hurt, and frustrated, leading us to react in ways that we may later regret. However, there is a way to handle disrespect with grace and poise, and that is through the teachings of Stoicism. This ancient philosophy emphasizes maintaining composure, viewing the disrespectful actions of others as a reflection of their character, rather than allowing that to dictate our own emotions. By practicing detachment and choosing not to be influenced by external circumstances, we can respond to disrespect with resilience, dignity, and understanding. It's even possible for the person who has offended us to realize their mistake, even if they do not acknowledge it. If you follow these steps, I'm sure this can indeed happen. Remember, it's not immediate, but over time, your offenders will realize that you are immune to their disrespect. As always, be strong and maintain focus. Try to watch this video until the end, because the last lesson is the most important. One, keep your calm. By keeping your calm in the face of disrespect, you can avoid adding fuel to the fire and escalating the situation further. Instead, you can choose to rise above the negativity and respond in a way that promotes healing and understanding. Remember, the other person's behavior is often a reflection of their own insecurities and misguided beliefs. So taking the high road and responding with compassion and empathy can help defuse the situation and promote positive change. Two, reflect on yourself. Taking the time to reflect on oneself in the midst of conflict can be a powerful tool for resolving disagreements in a healthy manner. This involves examining one's own motivations and behaviors and considering how one's actions may have contributed to the situation at hand. By doing so, one can identify areas for growth and improvement and make changes accordingly. Additionally, reflecting on one's core values can provide a guiding framework for making decisions and taking action in situations of disrespect. Three, pause and resist the impulse to react. When faced with disrespect, it can be easy to react emotionally without thinking through the consequences. However, taking a step back and pausing before responding can give you the space to think more clearly and respond in a calmer, more thoughtful manner. By waiting to react until you have had a chance to collect your thoughts, you can avoid saying or doing something that could escalate the situation or cause further harm. 4. Use humor or simply smile. Using humor or smiling can help diffuse tension and prevent a situation from becoming too serious. Sometimes, when we take things too seriously, we can get caught up in emotions and lose sight of the bigger picture. By using humor or maintaining a positive attitude, we can shift the focus away from negative energy and create a more peaceful environment for communication. Of course, it's important to ensure that the use of humor doesn't come across as disrespectful or dismissive of the other person's feelings. 5. Respond with reason, not emotions. When dealing with disrespect, it can be tempting to respond with anger or frustration, but this only adds fuel to the fire. Instead, focusing on virtues like wisdom and courage can help us approach the situation with a level head and respond with reason rather than emotions. By demonstrating wisdom, we can find creative solutions to the problem at hand, while courage helps us stand up for ourselves and communicate effectively despite any fear or anxiety we may feel. Responding with virtue takes practice, but it can lead to more effective and satisfying outcomes in difficult situations. Six, embrace acceptance. This is an important aspect of personal growth and development. It allows us to let go of unrealistic expectations and comparisons, and instead focus on our own journey and progress. 
Embracing acceptance means acknowledging that we cannot control others' actions or reactions, but we can control our own responses and attitudes towards them. When we learn to accept people and circumstances as they are, without judgment or resistance, we can cultivate inner peace and happiness that is not dependent on external factors. In this way, we can respond to disrespect with grace and equanimity, rather than anger or resentment. 7. Practice Empathy This is a powerful tool for building bridges in difficult relationships. By practicing empathy, we can try to see things from the other person's perspective and understand why they might be acting disrespectfully. It's important to remember that everyone has their own struggles and challenges, and sometimes their behavior stems from a place of pain or confusion. Having compassion for their ignorance can help us approach the situation with kindness and patience, even if we don't agree with their choices or actions. This doesn't mean that we should excuse disrespectful behavior, but rather that we can seek to understand its root causes and respond with love and understanding. 8. Set Clear Boundaries Setting clear boundaries is an essential part of self-care and respect. It means being mindful of what you will and will not tolerate in your life and communicating those limits to others. Being the mountain refers to remaining steady and unshakable in the face of adversity. Just as a mountain stands tall and strong, regardless of the winds that blow around it, we can learn to stay true to ourselves and our values, even in the face of disrespectful behavior from others. By setting clear boundaries and standing firm in our beliefs, we demonstrate to others that we won't be pushed around or bullied into submission. At the same time, this teaches us to respect ourselves and our own needs and desires, which forms the foundation of healthy relationships with others. 9. Choose Forgiveness Forgiveness is often seen as a sign of strength, not weakness. It doesn't necessarily mean condoning or forgetting about the hurt caused by someone else's disrespectful behavior, but rather choosing to release negative emotions such as anger, resentment, and bitterness. By letting go of these emotions, we free ourselves from their hold and can focus on healing and moving forward. Forgiveness does not mean that we become doormats or allow others to walk all over us. Rather, it enables us to respond to disrespect with compassion and assertiveness seeking justice and fairness without letting hatred or grudges consume us. This path may require time and effort, but ultimately it leads to greater inner peace and the ability to build stronger, more meaningful relationships based on mutual respect. 10. Change your perspective. Taking a higher view and broader perspective can help us navigate difficult situations with greater clarity and calmness. It involves stepping back from the immediate moment and looking at the bigger picture, recognizing that everything and everyone eventually changes and passes. This shift in perspective can help us avoid getting caught up in feelings of revenge or anger and instead respond with wisdom and compassion. It also reminds us that material possessions, power, and temporary pleasure are fleeting and not worth becoming too attached to as they can distract us from our ultimate goals and purpose. By adopting this mindset, we can focus on developing inner qualities like compassion, humility, and wisdom, which are far more valuable and enduring. In conclusion, dealing with disrespect can be challenging, but it is possible to handle it with grace and poise. By following the 10 valuable lessons provided by Stoicism, such as remaining calm, reflecting on yourself, pausing before reacting, using humor, concentrating on wisdom and courage, practicing acceptance and empathy, setting clear boundaries, choosing forgiveness, and changing your perspective, you can develop inner strength and resilience. These skills will enable you to respond to disrespect constructively, assert your rights, repair harm done to you, and maintain your dignity and sense of worth. 
It's important to recognize that the path to inner strength and resilience requires effort and commitment. It means facing your flaws and shortcomings, learning to manage your emotions, developing good habits and practices, and seeking guidance and support from mentors and role models. But the reward is well worth it, as it allows you to live a fulfilling life filled with joy, love, and purpose. So, the next time you encounter disrespect, remember these 10 lessons and apply them in your response. With each passing day, you will become stronger, wiser, and better equipped to handle any challenge that comes your way. And eventually, you will come to realize that you possess the power to overcome any obstacle, whether it be internal or external. As Epictetus once said, some things are in our control and others are not. The things in our control are opinion, pursuit, desire, aversion, and in a word, whatever depends on our will. So, take control of your thoughts and actions, and let the journey towards inner strength and resilience begin. Please comment, Armored Wisdom, if you watch the video until the end. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Also, I'm going to leave a video here that complements the subject. Thanks.